I gotta clean off the area where these things go because I have been neglecting. I don't even know what this is. This is some kind of game, some thing that came with this RV. Well, yeah, look at this. I got spider webs on the thing. It goes to show I've been doing these a lot, huh? So Katie set it on my weight set because I haven't been using it. Somebody commented, they said, what happened to your your guns there, buddy? They look like they're a little deflated. That looks deflated? That's not deflated. But you're right. I have been neglecting. I haven't been doing the pull-ups like I should or the weights like I should. Somebody commented on the video that I was in uh, Alabama lifting weights at the hotel. Well, you know, that's what I mean about you guys. I told you, I said, I like when you give me your guff too because I need to remember to do all the exercise I need to do. And I've been neglecting my arms. I've been doing the push-ups, but that's just working on the triceps and the chest area. I gotta make sure I get those biceps in there. So I'm gonna start bringing these back in regular. Yeah, I've been remiss in working on my biceps. But it's one thing I love about this whole thing of, of, of doing the diet this time. You know, like when I talked about doing Atkins back in, back in 2006, 2007, Facebook wasn't even really around yet. If it was, I didn't know about it. I didn't get on Facebook until 2009, I think, or maybe 2010. We didn't have anything like Rural Carnivore Tribe or the Lion Diet Facebook uh, page or uh, You Can't Eat That Facebook page. We didn't have YouTube channels like Dr. Baker, Dr. Barry. We didn't have a Dr. Atkins YouTube channel, that's for sure. Uh, we may have had YouTube back then, but we didn't have we didn't have anything like what we have now. I mean, that's the bottom line. We have got a lot of support for being able to get ourselves healthy, to be able to have some encouragement to press on because this is a tough diet sometimes when you're dealing with people all the time it can make you feel like you're really way out there but when you've got a, a support group that understands what you're going through and goes through some of the same difficulties and we can encourage each other then we can help keep each other on track and that's why I keep doing this you know I, I mentioned before I do want you guys to call me out when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm trying to encourage you to do what you're supposed to be doing too and that's what we could all do. I know some of you have talked about coming up with your own YouTube channel doing this. You'll find out it's a lot more work than you thought, but it's also a lot of fun. And it's quite rewarding for me to be able to have so many stories that you guys tell me that let me know how much this diet has changed their life or some diet like it has changed their life and how they have been able to regain their youth. Or in cases like mine, I feel better than I did in my youth. I mean, I feel better than I did like when I was in high school. Yeah, I've got some lower intestinal issues still that are hung over from the original problem I had, but it's not crippling me anymore. And it's allowed me to change the way my body looks and works. And it's amazing. I just, I, I, I don't even know why anybody would question what I'm doing is healthy or not. But I do also understand how much propaganda we have been told for so long. We have been told the same lie for so long. It's understandable why people don't understand. I'm glad to be able to be here with you, to be able to encourage you to keep doing what you need to be doing because it's easy for me to want to get behind. But there are times though, there when, I, when it goes a day, really when it goes one day without me doing what I plan to do, and that happens about once a week, that uh, it just, it, it gets, it lights a fire under me the next day to make sure that I'm right back on track, even if I don't get a chance to record it because it's gonna show if I'm not doing it, just like it did with my arms. And I don't know if somebody was just clowning me or not, but I felt like they were starting to look a little small too because I hadn't been doing this. So I'm gonna start adding it back in. But I got a few more of these to do. Oh, I also wanted to mention to you guys something. I got a message from Redmond the other day that was letting me know that some of the shipments are being a little delayed right now, but they're gonna be out. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting on an order from Redmond. I'm waiting on some relight to come in. The, uh, the extra electrolytes all last month really helped, especially during the summer heat. It has been unbelievable how fast I've been burning through electrolytes. 
so that uh, the relight was really good I even had it twice a day some days I know some people have it more than twice a day but I usually like to just use salt most of the day and I found that I'm not as I can tell when I'm thirsty for more electrolytes I can tell when I need salt for instance and there's times where I don't want any salt in my water where I just I know my body is like hey I'm fine here just give me some water but uh, the electrolytes they're awesome man I, I can't wait for those to come in but I know they're having some delays on some shipments right now so I wanted to let you know if you placed an order recently just hang in there they're on the way but they did send me a message letting me know and I wanted to make sure I told you so that you wouldn't be wondering what the heck is going on you know it's the situation we're all in right now things are gonna be a little crazy we'll just pray and hope for the best though Extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?